So this is my TCL P8S 50 inch ultra high definition Android TV. So I bought this TV for about more than a year ago from Lazada uh, official TCL stro store um, on Lazada. And how has it been? Well, I'm pretty satisfied with my purchase and I have no major complaints, at least a minor one. But overall, I would recommend this TV um, and it has all uh, the features and uh, yeah, the picture quality is pretty good. Um, so it comes with um, two remotes. Um, uh, this is the the remote that I've been using since day one because it's quite small and very intuitive and easy to use. It has quite a few buttons. You see the Netflix, uh, voice command, and power and the settings. So it's it's pretty intuitive. Um, so let's power it on while we continue our journey. Okay, so that's the boot up screen. Um, so a little bit on the. The remote controller um, you have the Netflix button here and this is for their proprietary TCL content and you have the volume rockers here um, yeah and uh, these are the arrow key buttons and you have the select button here so yeah so pre that's pretty much intuitive um, so yeah, I just boot, booted up. Um, it took about, I think, maybe about 40 to 30 seconds. So this is um, the cold boot um, in the sense if you power it off fully and switch it on, it will take um, a slightly longer time to, to boot up. Um, and then once it's on, um, you can go to settings and device preferences quick start so this one is enabled now so when you enable that you just press the power button once and then when you press the power button again to wake it up it's quite fast and almost instantaneous sometimes it does take a while depending on what you have on your android home screen um, so it will take some time to load up so this is my netflix and i have youtube kids and the normal youtube and some other stuff so um this is the normal ui um, this runs on android 9 by the way and it's a pure android version it has no uh, customization so that's pretty good this is a android tv os let me show you the version so it's android 9 um yeah so that's pretty much it then let's quickly check the other settings um, it's pretty much like an Android device um, uh, if you're familiar with the Android ecosystem um, so when you initially set this thing up you will have to set up all your accounts so if you have an Android phone um, connected to your network it, it's pretty easy to set this device um, you just have to connect it using your um, Android credentials um, the, the very simple steps um, so once you are done and set up it's pretty easy um, so you have a few things here on the settings menu um, you have Bluetooth accessories if you want to add additional accessory like the for example the me soundbar um, I did add that one some time back and a bluetooth uh, headset um, so that's for the bluetooth devices and 
let me show you oh, sorry the so you have quick boot inputs um, you can select the input types and a bunch of settings there and yeah it's a pretty normal stuff um, then in the settings um, button here when you press that one you get the TV settings for the picture quality so this one is pretty um, important um, so you can you have uh, different modes that you can select from uh, smart HDR um, you have standard dynamic um, movie mode so I don't know to my preference I just I just said this thing is a standard mode um, with brightness and color brightness at 7 or 46 and uh, both at 46 um, then you have advanced picture brightness settings um, there's more granular level of uh, controls here um, dynamic contrast black stretch the mic has micro dimming as well you will get more uh, the darker scenes with more uh, darkness to it um, so you can play around but but this is the way that I kind of like it um, and yeah so this one is for the um, LED motion clear yeah you can set the aspect ratio um, 16 to 9 here so I just just left it be um, so this setting is for the um, all source in the sense if you set it for um, for all the if you say if you have any video source inputs for the HDMI ports um, so all, 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 all the all the um, the same setting would apply for all the sources um, yeah picture um, sorry picture reset um, yeah then the sound department the sound is pretty decent but um, if you want more uh, I would recommend to go for a sound bar so I have connected this with my Sonos Beam if you are interested in that you can check out uh, the link here um, and see my review on the Sonos Beam soundbar so this gets connected to the HDMI ARC audio return channel uh, port um, so that is uh, a one important thing uh, that it's equipped with um, then yeah sound I can show you the settings uh, it has some pretty decent effects the base um, but it's, it's not as punchy as uh, a Sonos beam or a soundbar um, so um, yeah so you can set that so this is the digital out this is uh, for the Sonos Beam okay yeah and then you have um, CEC controls um, so this is my Sonos Beam so it has these functions um, enabled so the Sonos Beam is connected to my TV and there are some couple of other modes as well so I think the game mode is for just playing if you are playing games um, I think it has some kind of effect but I am not pretty sure I haven't connected any consoles or PS4 or the uh, PlayStation devices um, to my um, TV so I'm not sure on the sync rates um, whether it, it, it's fast enough uh, but I doubt um, it's not that great um, then the pretty much the other stuff you get in an Android TV um, OS 
so here I have the apps and these are my most uh, used apps um, I use Netflix um, YouTube and uh, Amazon and live TV um, is also handy um, I have another video on how to uh, set up free live channels so if you are interested please do check that out um, yeah so so you have the app store here you can go to the app store and download uh, um, I wouldn't say it's a lot but there are some um, useful apps that you can download I mean Netflix is one of the um, must um, apps so then you have this Spotify um, and whatnot um, yeah and uh, you can play some games too um, I did try some games um, like the beach buggy um, it was quite okay it's playable but my primary purpose is just to watch something so I'm not a gaming person but yes um, the games available uh, did work well um, uh, on the gaming side um, and then you have um, some standard uh, apps uh, this is called the TV guard if you want to clean up the um, space um, you just have to just optimize this so it will just optimize and clear the running apps and the uh, RAM and then you have the most popular apps um, YouTube so this can um, display uh, 4k UHD um, uh, it does work very well um, but that yeah then that depends on your network connection um, let me show you something uh, let's search for a 4k video here okay we can just use the voice search instead 4k videos okay let's try this so it says um, HDR HDR is supported It is lagging a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because of the network because uh, I didn't have any any lags earlier. So when I click on this stats for nerds, you can see the resolution and the frame rate. Mm, current or uh, yep. Let's turn it off. Yeah, it's it's, pre it's pretty good. Um, And then let's try Netflix. The Netflix app is uh, pretty smooth as well. Um, I didn't have much of an issue with the app. It did work very well. Um, yeah, just uh, let's try to play something. It's pretty smooth. Well, again, that depends on the network connection. And as you can see, no, no issues there. It works very well. And I also have Amazon, Amazon Prime.
So these are the, the primary uh, apps that I use, um, mostly Netflix. Um, I don't use the Amazon Prime. I think I recently unsubscribed from it. So, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Um, a quick sneak peek on the live channels. So once you set this thing up, it's free. It's um, it's IPTV. Um, so you can just watch um, channels for free. So this is Al Jazeera, and uh, the source of this um. The, the TV, the IPTV source has about 5,000 plus channels all over the world. Um, so <laughs> I had a hard time sorting the channels. Um, but I will share with you uh, in another video how to do it. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty handy. Well, you won't get all the like, premium channels. Um, but there are some quite a bit of uh, nice channels. Um, and you can play around and if if, if you want to watch uh, if you are um, living in a another country um, if you are an expat you might w want to uh, watch some uh, TV channels of that uh, broadcasted from your country so um, I think you can find uh, quite a bit of channels um, that are available so yeah that's something that you can check out and um, it, 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 it works well as well um, another option um, or rather a feature is uh, the Chromecast so it comes with Chromecast so you can cast anything to your to your um, TV um, and also you can um, eh, Chromecast built in um, you can cast your YouTube or even your phone screen to the TV um, if you have added um, uh, this um, or an Android uh, TV to your Android home uh, application you are able to um, change the screen server settings uh, from within the Android uh, home application and you can sync it with your Google Photos so when the screen server kicks in it will uh, display your um, uh, photos of your selection so you can make the selection um, of what kind of photos um, there are really different categories or you can like um, uh, create an album with uh, the selection of um, faces or persons uh, that you would like uh, to be included in the uh, slideshow so depending on that album uh, the photos will be displayed on the TV so that that that's um, uh, I, I'm pretty um, impressed with that feature it is quite unique um, but for that to be let me um, yeah I will show you in a while more um, let's do a quick check on the voice search so voice search is also uh, quite handy um, you can issue the voice commands um, like open Netflix okay um, and you can say like Um, you have the the voice search command on your remote so you can just press it and actually like what time is it um, or what's my schedule like for tomorrow sorry I can't find anything on your calendar today okay um, then play house of cards on uh, 
play House of Cards on Netflix.